Hello guys, today we'll be looking at how we can draw a strip foundation to a scale of 1 is to 10 and even label the parts of the strip foundation. Welcome and let us begin. How to draw a strip foundation given a number of details or a number of information. First of all, we are given 600 by 200 millimeter strip, 200 millimeter foundation wall, 300 millimeter thick hardcore, 50 millimeter thick grinding, 150 millimeter frost rub, A142 BRC mesh, 500 gauge damp proof course, which is basically known as DPM and uh, finally 200 millimeter wide DPC. These are the details that we've been provided for for us to come up with a detail for a strip foundation. So generally for a strip foundation, the sketch for it, basically have, uh, have the strip. The strip which you're basically saying it's 600 by 200. 600 by 200 then we have uh, the foundation wall which rises from the strip foundation which is 200 millimeter thick it is this boring and then we have uh, the lowest most of the base of the foundation of the strip foundation detail we have the hard coffee say that uh, hard coffee with even 300 millimeter thick so we we'll measure 300 millimeter thick that will be the hard core and of course indicated to using the symbol for hard core then uh, directly after the hard core we usually do the grinding the grinding layer and we've been told provided for grinding layer 50 millimeters thick so we measure 50 millimeters from the hard core for us to define our, our grinding then finally after the grinding we usually have the foundation uh, the, the frost wrap therefore we measure frost wrap of 150 millimeters And uh, for the for the slab, usually proceeds it continues and covers the foundation, the foundation wall. Uh, and then after the slab, we usually provide the DPC, that is the damp proof course, which is 200 millimeters wide, equivalent to the given to the given wall. So that is generally how a strip foundation looks like just a sketch of it so we will now dwell into how we can we can draw that using the instrument using the given scale to come up with the required strip foundation so the first thing we we do is to measure the strip, the concrete strip that we've been given which is 200 millimeters wide and six, uh, 200 millimeters depth and 600 millimeters wide. So that is the first thing we need to do. So using uh, using uh, the instruments that is the drawing board and the T square set squares. So using the drawing board and the set square we draw a horizontal line to define the start of the strip or the lowest part of the of the strip once we define the base of the strip then we measure 200 millimeters measure 200 millimeters another 
horizontal line to define the depth, the depth of the strip for of the strip. And then of course we define the width that is 600 millimeters wide. So again we measure 600. That way we will have defined the strip, the strip, the concrete strip for the for the strip formation. And once we have the strip, we now draw the, the foundation wall. Of course, the foundation wall for a strip foundation will be centered on the on the strip, on the given strip. Remember the thickness of the foundation wall is 200 millimeters thick. That will give us the required foundation wall. Then, uh, since we've, uh, the depth of the foundation has not been defined, so we will break the foundation wall to just communicate that at this point in time we are not sure of the depth of the foundation. That is the symbol of a break line. That basically means or generally means that the depth of the foundation has not been defined. Therefore, there can be anything, so we just need to break the foundation wall. Then once we've done that, now we define the, the hard coffering. And then the hard coffering, since we don't know the depth of the foundation, to come at any point from the strip foundation. So we first of all define the, the lowest part or the lowest level of the, of the hard core. So again using a horizontal line, we define the lowest part of the hard core. And then we, we've been given, provided for that the hard core is 300 millimeters. Therefore, we measure 300 millimeters. That will give us the hard core. Then after the hard core, we do the grinding. Grinding again is 50 millimeters. We measure 50 millimeters. And we find our grinding. After the grinding, we given uh, the first wrap. 50 millimeter cross run. So again, we measure 150. Remember the slab has screened area, we will cover the foundation wall and then later on the, the, the walling for the building we will uh, we proceed from the slab. So once we have done that, we've also been provided, we've both required to provide 
a PRC mesh, 142 PRC mesh. Remember, PRC mesh is supposed to, the function is to reinforce the SRAM. Therefore, we need to, it's usually suspended within the SRAM at a distance of 50 millimeters from the bottom of the SRAM. Therefore, we will, uh, we will indicate it suspended within, within the SRAM. That shows the, the formation of the level at which the PRC will be, uh, will be laid. And then of course we also been given uh, the DPM. DPM again, the function is to prevent other water from penetrating the building and therefore it usually comes after, after we've, uh, we've done grinding. And then uh, for the fact that uh, the, the DPN is basically a very thin, uh, very thin uh, element within the, the foundation. That's why it's given in gauge. Therefore, we just indicate with a, with a bold line above the above the DPN that above the, the, the binding to indicate the provision for a for a damp damp proof course. That indicates the damp of course, and we do the same for the 200 millimeters wide DPC, which comes below the, uh, the superstructure wall. So indicate it again with the rain because it's still another thin, uh, thin member or element within the, the street foundation. So again, simply because the walling is continuous, so we'll still use a brick line to show that it's continuous, and we'll also do the same for the for the foundation to show that it's continuous it doesn't end at this point. So we'll again use a brick line. That indicates that the Foundation is still continuous, it does not end at this point. We do the same for the worry. So once we've done that, it's also again good to indicate or to show uh, the various uh, members with their correct symbols. Because we need to communicate uh, that this is a wall, this is a, this is a concrete member, and the rest. So we use the symbols for the strip from for the foundation strip. We will use the concrete symbol. So again for the slab, it's still a concrete member, so we use the concrete symbol again. Then for the foundation wall, we use a uh, symbol for, uh, for quarry stones. So and then finally we need to label and we need to dimension the uh, the, the figure the detail. So we start with the foundation strip.
those are the dimensions, has given 600 millimeters wide and 200 millimeters deep. Then we need again to, to label the other parts. We can start with the EPC. already labeled the DPC as required. So we do the same for the other, the other members of the stream foundation. Rebuild the slab. So we'll do that for the rest of the members the A142 uh, BRC mesh, the grinding, the DPM, the hard core, and the strip foundation and the foundation wall. That is how a foundation, a stream foundation a detail comes up, it looks like the members are organized in that manner. Uh, it's very important to label the drawing, to label the detail, because it's a construction detail and it's the one that guides the executors of a building on how to come up with the foundation detail. Thank you and welcome for my next tutorial video.